Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my February Boxy Charm unboxing. Here it is. And I'm really actually looking forward to this box because I think last month the box was pretty satisfying for the most part. It was a lot of skincare so I didn't really have much to get mad about makeup wise. So I think it was pretty cool that a lot of the skincare was very high end. I'm using a lot of the skincare still to this day. I'm actually looking forward to opening this box and seeing what's inside. If I seem a little bleh, I actually just woke up from a nap and I'm like, I need to film. So here I am with my new little blue black drop. Before we get started, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of future videos and let's get started. So in my usual BoxyCharm fashion, I have not yet opened my box because I like to do that on camera so I can have a true reaction for you guys. So let me get scissors here and open this up. And I almost knew what was in here because I guess BoxyCharm is doing something new where they email you actually the list of items that you get in your box. And I opened the email and was like, oh, what's this? And basically closed it as soon as I started seeing that it was actually telling me the products because I do like being genuinely surprised in these videos for first impressions. So I have no clue. Oh, so it doesn't come with a card anymore? Normally it comes with a little card, but I guess they wanted to save on paper, maybe? Okay, so I guess I will have to pull that up and find out what everything is on that. It is the virtual February insert, which you don't opt in or out of. They just, <laughs> I guess, stopped. Okay. So, we'll start with the first thing on the February insert card. There it is. The first item on that card, which is foundation. Oh my god, I actually got foundation. That's pretty awesome. It's the Becca Cosmetics Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. Yay! Full coverage liquid foundation featuring 24-hour water and transfer-resistant wear with a breathable natural finish. That's freaking exciting. Holy crap. Only other Becca Cosmetics item that I've ever used actually was the Champagne Pop highlighter that I've literally been using as a highlighter in like all of my past makeup videos. It's in the shade Olive. I'm pretty sure that'll match me. Let's just open it up because I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, that is such a big bottle of foundation. Jesus. That's pretty cool. It has Becca Cosmetics right there on the lid. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's actually exciting because I feel like I'm becoming more of an adult. Like, my first foundation was my e.l.f. Cosmetics foundation. And then I just got the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. And now I have another foundation that... It's $44! I would never spend this much on a foundation. Just because I just have a really broke personality. So this is really awesome. Item number two, it is the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush Trio. This vegan and cruelty-free three-piece brush set comes complete with a complexion brush, bronzer brush, and brightening brush suitable for all skin types delivering a flawless finish for $36. Now, I voiced before that I don't really feel like I need brushes, but you know what? Hey, there are other brushes out on the market, Lex, just like there's other makeup products. And I need to experience this. Ooh, they come in a really cool, like, net, I guess, to protect the shape of it. Ooh. Ooh, yes, I did need a brush like this. I don't have a brush, like, flimsy like this. That's nice. Ooh, and they come labeled. So that one says bronzer brush. Nice. These are really nice. I'll remove all these little fishnet coverings. Brightening brush. I guess that's for like under the eye. Uh huh. And this is the complexion brush. I guess maybe for. Ooh, these are nice because my other brushes that I have are very. 
they're not as flexible. I don't really know what word I'm trying to say, but I'm actually looking forward to using these. So that's awesome. For number three, we have the Ciate London. Oh my gosh! Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Oh, I got excited. I thought this was setting spray. <laughs> I don't know why I got like freaked out. So there it is. It says, lock in your makeup for long-lasting wear with Ciate London's Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder, a delicately coconut fragrance to take you back to your beach vacay every day. This finely milled and lightweight loose powder smooths over makeup for a crease-free, soft focus finish with no flashback for 22 bucks. That's interesting. Let's open it up because I'm curious about the coconut smell. I actually really like coconut, so I want to know... Here I go, just like completely like freaking demolishing the box. But who needs the freaking box? We'll be alright. That's cute. Let's see on the inside. So it comes with the protective seal on top. I don't know if you can see that. You can't, but let's see. You have to take that off first. Oh, there it goes. barely a little you can kind of smell um i'm interested to try another setting powder other than the cody airspun and the only other product i've used of ciate london is the blusher from them that i've been using a lot so i'm actually really looking forward to trying this too so so far so good this is a really exciting box for me number four first aid beauty facial radiance pads what a daily treatment pad that contains the right amount of tac lactic and glycolic acids to safely and effectively exfoliate tone and brighten all skin types regular use of these pads will smooth the skin's texture providing the perfect canvas for flawless makeup application for 16 dollars it's taking me back to like Clearacel cleaning pads for your face. So it's not saying it's in replacement of that. It's just, I guess, another way to cleanse your face. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I'll definitely try that. But this is $16. I, again, um, cheapskate me wouldn't really buy that. But I guess I've never tried the facial radiance pad. So I'll give this a try, see how it works out. Last but not least, the Evio Beauty Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Pads. Nice. I've been really into using a lot of CBD and hemp products. There is Revolution Beauty has a CBD skincare cream that I've been using on my face and I really actually enjoyed it. So this is biodegradable multitasking Evio skin by Aurora Wipes are made with hemp fibers to cleanse skin, remove waterproof makeup, and keep skin hydrated, this antibacterial wipes are infused with cannabis sativa seed oil to reduce inflammation and avoid irritation for 10 bucks. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm definitely interested in trying that as well. Let's go ahead and add up everything in this box and let's see what our value comes to. We have the foundation for 44, you have the brushes for 36, you have the Ciate London setting powder for 22, the radiance pads for 16, and the wipes for 10. So my total came to 128, which is probably the lowest priced box I've gotten so far with the boxy charms this would be my third box with them and my last box I think I've reached over $200 with all the skincare items I got and the first box is I think about 180 so you're definitely still getting a lot of good stuff for $25 a month the boxy charm Instagram is really making me want to up it to the premium because they're doing a lot of fancy beauty products and I voiced new once i think that i do want to try fenty beauty on my channel and just in general i want to try the lip products i haven't tried any fenty beauty products 
I know I'm under a freaking rock, but that's pretty awesome still that you're getting all of this for a hundred dollars. I'm really, 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 really looking forward to everything in my box. I'm a little more positive. Like, aren't you guys like happy for me? Like, I'm not like a super negative person. Like, I'm trying to look on the bright side of things. And this stuff is really cool. It's all stuff that is new to me, brands that are new to me. Let's just get right in. I think I'm going to use every product that I got in here because I really want to test everything and let's do it. First up, we're going to use the refreshing cleansing hemp wipes to take off the makeup that I have. I went to the mall earlier with my sister. So I did just put some brow mascara gel in my eyebrows, some mascara. So let's see how well this actually takes off my makeup because I've used makeup wipes from different brands and they always say, oh my God, we're gonna take off all your makeup and then they never really get everything off. Hardest part for me to take off is definitely the mascara because you get left with that runny blackness under the eyes. These are nice for $10. Item number two, we're going to go in with the facial radiance pads and cleanse the face. So wipe pad across face for twice daily after cleansing. Well, we just want to, oh, so they're for after, you idiot, Alexis. They're for after you cleanse your face, so. They don't really smell like anything. They don't smell as harsh as, like, alcohol wipes. Well, it's been a minute since I've used a facial pad. It's very wet. <laughs> it's a face pad. Very wet. So no burning, nothing crazy like that. It definitely, I've been rubbing this on my face for a good minute. It's still very, very moist. So that's definitely good. And the yellow in my shirt is for Pikachu because I love Pikachu. I'm not like a really obsessed Pokemon fan. I just was when I was younger and I think Pikachu is the most adorable creature made for animation. So we're just gonna dive right into getting this face primed and everything. I used the Smashbox photo finish water in my last video and was like, oh, I'm gonna try something new and see if this primer water works. And my skin was literally cracking everywhere. So that clearly is not what it should be used for for me so i'm just going to continue doing what i was doing previously which is going in with the ulta beauty hydrating face primer i'm just going to go in with that instead of mixing with the elf poreless putty primer because i really am not going anywhere and i kind of would hate to use a billion and one different products and then have to just take it off so tired that's why i look like crap uh -huh. i'm so excited like i said this is the shade olive so let's open her up she's in a cute little pump here and i think i'm going to just pump it on my real techniques beauty blender ah mm -hmm. dot all over the face here Smells like paint, but no product, no product that I've used yet smells any better. For the strict purpose of this video, I'm just going to be using the products in the box. Well, no, I do have to use the brushes, so I am going to do bronzer and all of that but i'm not going to be doing eyebrows and all that because i'm not going anywhere and you guys will get the point so i think this is kind of my shade i'm hoping that when i put the powder on this all kind of balances itself yeah this is full coverage if i've ever seen anything like it i'm trying to see how far this can go before I need another few pumps. I'm gonna need another pump for the other side but for the most part it looks like you really only need 
like four small pumps like I didn't do anything crazy Wow, that is a nice foundation. It looks a little dark, honestly, for my skin tone. But I think maybe when I put the powder on, we'll definitely see if the powder has like a small tint to it to kind of tone it down or maybe it'll oxidize. Let's just find out. Yeah, that covered up like every little blemish that I had. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Alamar brush, the complexion brush, to set the face with the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Setting Powder. And there's already some that kind of came out there. Ah, too much. I'm just going to go in. Oh yeah, when you put it on, it's coconut. You can smell the coconut with that. Brush is nice. Just gonna go in with a tad bit more. Like that much. Oh boy, maybe too much. Oh man. This is what I needed. I needed a brush like this. A fluffy, big kind of brush to just put everything in. I don't bake. My skin is very sensitive with baking. I've had really dry experiences with baking, so we're not gonna bake. So far, so good. We're gonna go in with that bronzer brush right here. We're gonna take some of my e.l.f. bronzer that I've been using, the Forever Sun Kissed, and we're going to bronze and see how this brush works. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yes, that looks really nice and I look super dead because I don't have any concealer on. I don't have any eyebrows on, but honestly, I'm not going to waste my makeup. I'm not going anywhere. I hate to do that. Let me put some lips on because I just look truly dead. I have like no, <laughs> everything's just one color. I look a little too tan, I do have to say, like... I look a little too tan, but I think if I was to maybe put concealer on, it probably would have balanced everything out because I do have a lighter concealer from e.l.f. that I use. So let me just put a quick lip on and I will give my final thoughts on my BoxyCharm experience for February. Final thoughts on my February BoxyCharm box. I actually enjoyed every product that I used. I thought that the foundation i did do the shade matching process online with boxycharm it's a little darker than my skin tone like a tad like literally just like a half shade or a shade this is actually how i look in the summer when i get tanned like just naturally like on the beach or something but I feel like if I would have put concealer on, I probably, it would have all balanced out. Overall, I was very happy with everything else. The brushes were great. The pads were great. And my skin doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I have a whole bunch of makeup on. The wipes took everything off and did its job. So yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with my BoxyCharm from February subscription. So I definitely think I may do the premium. I'll keep you guys updated on that. If I do, I definitely will let you know. And another unboxing will be coming on my channel. But that's all I have for today's video. So please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it today. And comment down below. Let me know if you have BoxyCharm and what your 
box variation was. There are so many different variations. I actually hadn't seen my specific variation. So definitely let me know if you tried any of these products. Let me know that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.